The government seeks to implement long-term plans and strategies to beef up water supply to the coastal towns and industries in Erongo. Already in 2008, the government wanted to construct its own desalination plant but could not do so because the companies that tendered were all not qualified to carry out the project. The government, through a technical committee, has been negotiating the possibility of buying the Arriva desalination plant and finally decided to construct its own plant in the Erongo region by 2019. First that we are going to go ahead with the construction on a PPP basis. We are not saying that the Areva plant is no more needed. It's there. And there is a lot of scope from what the leadership of Areva. If plans to set up water supply sources fail, industries like mining, fishing and tourism in the Erongo region would not be productive. More than five uranium mines are expected to be in full production by 2020 because uranium prices are expected to go up. When investors approach the office of the governor, the office of the mayors to start new, new investment, they are always very hesitant about the water supply, specifically in the central coastal area. The Erongo Regional Council is working with investors who are interested in setting up the biggest green scheme project in the Namib Desert. However, all these plans will depend on the implementation of a sustainable water supply plan.